Hello, Jim here, Whiskey Philosopher. It has been a while, but I have a product review for you and you're not gonna wanna miss it. All right, what I have today is the Aeropex and that is by Aftershocks. I got these about a month ago. I've been using these almost every day for about a month. And the first thing I'm gonna say is the unboxing, the opening of these is very likened to an Apple product. So it's got, it's got that magnetic thing working here. You flap it open. And uh, here you've got the same guy. I think this guy is one of the founders or the owner or something like that. Handsome guy and he's pretty fit and rich, I guess. Nice job, right? Uh, right, and he's, he's also a lady friend, you know, the fitness and the handsomeness working out, working out for him here. Um, yeah, so in here, you know, it houses the, the unit itself and it has some instructions, which of course I haven't read. And um, what comes with it? Let's have a look. You get the unit itself and you get this uh, something i'm not crazy about it's it's a silicone bag it's a silicone bag with a it's got the magnetic you know that rare earth magnet that's that's kind of nice but i'm just not a carry this size bag kind of guy and it also comes with some earplugs talk about these later all right so on the plus side man these things are light they are like 15 grams they go on your head. If you're not familiar with bone conduction, what bone conduction does is it bypasses your outer ear, that's the ear canal, and your middle ear, those are the bones that vibrate, and it goes directly to the window of your cochlea and vibrates the fluid inside there, so it bypasses your outer and your middle ear. Uh, how can that be an advantage? Well, the reason why I sought these out was I have earwax problems, and this last year and a half, from a lot of online teaching, I use these in-ear buds, and all this wax is getting packed in, and it gets wet with time. It's, it's been a little bit of an unpleasant situation. This is open. That part has been very nice. So that's why I originally got these. It was for teaching and keeping my ears open. Also, other reasons I got it, uh, I do a lot of driving while listening to YouTube. This way, I am in legal compliance. Uh, you know, I can hear all the traffic. I can hear my surrounding sounds. Also in the house with the earbuds, it's quite clear that you're not listening to your family. With these, you can have the illusion of listening. Another upside, it has a multi-point device connection ability. So I can hook up to two devices at once. In my case, I hook it up to my phone and my computer. While I'm in the room, if I'm playing something off one or the other, it automatically switches back and forth. Uh, the downside of that is, if I leave the room permanently, it's going to be sensing a lack of connection and that beep, 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 and kind of waiting for me to get it back. Uh, easiest in that case, just to shut it off and shut it on, and then you're, you're good to go. Over here on this side, you have volume up, volume down, and push and hold uh, is on and off. Over here, you have kind of a, a multi-push device that's like on and off and forward and stuff like that. One wish I had, this, this button over here, if it were a little bit out and rounded, a little more obvious, that would, that would be nice. Uh, what else? Other plus points, the volume for me is totally adequate. I can hear my, my surroundings. That leads into a negative point. So if you're expecting to be in a loud environment and be able to hear this, you're gonna be sorely mistaken. That's where these would come in. So if you're on an airplane and you wanna totally isolate, you would need these, or if you're in a loud environment. I do not carry these with me. You know, I'm, I'm in a full understanding. If I'm wearing these, I'm gonna have environmental sound. So if you're listening to music or a podcast or something that is inherently low volume, you might have a hard time hearing it. Um, also, sometimes this is just a freaky thing. It's not positive or negative, but every once in a while, a sound will happen during a, a YouTube or a podcast. And it sounds like something that's not in the YouTube video itself. And I feel like it's happening in my environment. It's really hard to separate what's in and outside your ear. It's kind of cool. Other downsides. Uh, people mentioned that uh, these vibrate and at, especially at high volumes, you could feel the vibration on your skin. That's a little bit disorienting for some folks. Most reviews say you get used to it. I did get used to it. Uh, so not a big problem for me. Uh, other issues. Um, and this was just pointed out to me, my friend Sergey, this weekend. So if it's really, really high volume, someone outside can hear the vibration and, and make out like I was playing a, a loud podcast to test it out and my friend Sergey could hear it. I didn't even know that until he pointed that out to me. However, to be fair, that was really loud and I would, that was almost painful for me. I wouldn't be listening uh, to that loud. So hopefully not a problem for me. Other downsides. 
All right. Sometimes, I mean, it can get a little sore behind my ears sometimes, especially if I'm, I'm laying down on a pillow or something like that, which brings me to, let me, let me have a look here, take off my hat. You can see I actually do have hair. Um, so you see the, the unit comes off your head like this. And at first I thought, oh, I like to lay back. Maybe I'd put it downward. That bends my ears. I was not comfortable at all. And what I found was uh, bending it up against my head, I could lay down on a pillow. That's totally comfortable, actually. That, that works out just fine. Uh, however, you know, obviously it's not super comfortable laying down on your side. I have done that. It's not great. One other downside I would have to say is the price. These are pricey. As you will see, uh, I'll put a link down there, but they are a pricey unit. Uh, no getting around that. Uh, other people have mentioned a downside. Oh, I've got all this environmental sound. Well, that's what it is. It's like buying a bicycle and they say, I have to do all this pedaling. Yeah, it's, it is what it is, right? Now, I might've mentioned, I listened to him in the car. I'm in compliance then. I've got all the sound in my motorcycle helmet. Earbuds I can very often use. Earbuds that are a microphone, um, I can use those. These are not quite as nice inside the helmet. They're a little bit wonky, honestly. So I could hear at low volume, at low speeds. At higher speeds, I was having some trouble. And sometimes, yeah, sometimes I just couldn't hear at high enough volumes. And it was really disturbing with, with the padding. So prob probably not for most good helmets, because a good helmet's gonna fit all around your ears. So it's probably not gonna be good. Yeah, it is what it is. Um, I think that is it. So, Whiskey Philosopher coming with an honest evaluation of a product, the Aeropix by Aftershocks. Maybe check them out, maybe they're for you, maybe not. All right, Whiskey Philosopher signing off. I will see you on down the road. Bye-bye.